Hi Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to jump right in and get started. This is for the rest of January 2022. Alright, this is for... This is for... Aquarius. Aquarius, this is for you. Starting off with three major arcanas, Aquarius. Overall energy is material harvest, which is the nine of pentacles in the regular tarot. You have wisdom, hope, and light. Beautiful. So this is the Hierophant. This is the star card and the sun card. So let's see what this is all about. Aquarius, this is you right in the middle. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, another Aquarius. Or a Taurus. This is for Aquarius. Aquarius, this is for you. It could be some type of communication. It looks like it affects you emotionally. Or there's emotions involved. It could be from a water sign. Or Aquarius. Okay. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. Some of you guys could, somebody could be leaving a family situation. Yo, why do I feel like, some of you guys could have Sagittarius in your chart. As I say Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy with the Nine of Wands. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. Oh, the star card again, your energy is Sagittarius. Um, <laughs> Aquarius. <laughs> Oh Lord, um, and the sun again. That's so interesting. We have this the star here twice, and we have the sun here twice. Okay, so Aquarius, thank you guys for being here. cards are so stiff okay this is for Aquarius be something about investing investing in something that you're going to be committed in um it looks like it could be a wish okay the higher fin is about 
you know, in love, it's about commitment. The overall energy is that of being single. So some of you guys could be single right now or dealing with somebody that is single. Maybe this person was holding back, okay, um, out of fear. But I think that there's going to be some progress. One second. Okay. Now, it looks like somebody wants to invest time and energy into something that is a wish. Um, there is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Strong Taurus. Some of you guys, there could be something to do with work. Maybe work is involved. Or people. You do have the five of ones. So there could be conflict with or competition. All right. Maybe multiple people are involved. Maybe something to do with work or money or something is here. Okay. Maybe somebody was overindulging, having their cake, eating it too. The sun card. Something is going to get illuminated. Sun card's out here three times in this spread. Somebody could be holding something back or holding back, holding on to something. There is there is somebody that could be a little bit cold. Maybe they, I almost want to say, say for some for some of you guys, it could be somebody controlling. But I think there's multiple people and somebody could be holding on to that. Okay. This person could have money. We have more towards Virgo Capricorn energy. They could be financially stable. Oh, so somebody needs to walk away from something. Somebody is walking away from something and going towards maybe something else. Maybe somebody wasn't satisfied. Maybe something was ignored. King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Something about an, an ending. Somebody could be rushing in. There is some type of change. Somebody comes in with change. It's this King of Pentacles. There could be also jealousy around the situation here too. Somebody could also have a lot of pride. If it's not jealousy, there could be pride with the person that you're dealing with. So there could be something about moving moving on towards calmer times with the Six of Swords here. Um, justice being here. I feel like there's something about making, making things right. Maybe somebody is going... Maybe somebody wants to make something right. Maybe somebody wants to do the right thing. And then we have the Star card. Your energy here, Aquarius. Maybe somebody... The, there's there's hope for the situation. Somebody has hope. Again, I'm getting that wish type energy. Um, but it looks like somebody's leaving something out in the cold. Somebody needs to go something, leave it. Maybe somebody's having financial difficulty. Let's see what that is. Let's see what that's all about. Somebody somebody's in somebody needs to leave something. I think that's what this is trying to say. Somebody's taking some type of mental break as well, or taking a time to reflect. Two of Cups death. There is something about a change. It could be an ending or change within a situation. Sagittarius energy here. Death card Scorpio. Um, I think somebody's trying to offer something. Maybe somebody feels burdened or maybe there's going to be a lot of responsibility that's attached to this opportunity or whatever, whatever it might be. Maybe somebody's taking some type of leap of faith with this full card, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Somebody, hopefully this is not saying that there's there's mind games here. It could be a determined energy. 
It could also be lack of communication, no communication. There could be communication coming in. It looks like it's going to be a wish for some of you guys. Maybe some of you guys, there was lack of communication. Maybe the, the communication is going to pick up. So if somebody was withdrawn, they're coming out of that energy. There's a lot of love, emotions. And I think you guys are... There's an energy of healing, having hope, having a wish. A new beginning. Communication. Again, could be with a Taurus or about commitment. Or about things of, with of higher value, things of value, um, things that are structured, traditional. There's emotions again, communication, especially after there's things that have been stuck. Maybe somebody needs to release something, let something go. Okay. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. Somebody could have could have had options. Maybe somebody's confused. Pardon me. Somebody definitely did, does have options in love. But again, there's something about carrying some type of burden and investing into something. Maybe somebody is trying to explore their options or somebody was exploring the options in terms of who they want to invest their time and energy and efforts into. Um, maybe this person, you know, they, they have, look, judgments here, making a decision. Maybe they're a little bit nervous with the decision that they're going to be making. But ultimately, with the hanged man coming out again, I feel like, and the sun, I feel like somebody's taking some time. Um, they're releasing, they're releasing things. They're also um, seeing things in a different perspective. Things are going to be getting illuminated with the sun card here. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. It's too many. The Lovers. Definitely a strong connection. The Moon. Something that is hidden. And we could be hiding how they feel hiding their emotions there could also again be fears that's here um with the lovers or again there was a choice maybe this person's um pretending that things are fine maybe there's a lot of mental conflict maybe this person's spending a lot of time on their phone what's the outcome for the situation Judgment. Judgment's trying to twist around. Let's see. Clarify. I do ultimately feel like there is a decision that somebody's making. Eight of Swords and the Emperor. I feel like somebody's um somebody they're probably they probably have the image of very strong, very probably very masculine type energy. But I think there's a little bit of nervousness that is behind there. Maybe this person's not comfortable with emotions. Look at that, Queen King of Cups. There's too many here, though. Um, but somebody is making some type of final decision. Or some of you guys are giving somebody another chance. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Aries. Aquarius. Somebody might need to... I wasn't ready for this, but I think that this is for the obstacle. I think somebody needs to ghost something, leave something out in the cold. Maybe somebody had a family situation or something like that. For the obstacle. <laughs> like I said, somebody needs to go something. Leave something out in the cold. Okay? And it they could it could be a baby mother. A mother, some maybe they have a kid with this person. Maybe it's a, some divine feminine. Maybe they're married. Hopefully not. But maybe that's what it is. Okay. Maybe somebody needs to leave this family situation. Or maybe somebody needs to leave their baby mother alone. Or baby father whichever take it how it resonates what is the um advice for aquarius 
for Aquarius. Too many. Aquarius. There's this masculine, King of Cups. There's the emotions. Five of Cups coming out in reverse. Somebody that, uh, maybe somebody's letting go of, of something of, of the past. Somebody's coming out of this energy of feeling down, feeling sorry for themselves. Looking at the, oh, maybe somebody was deceptive. <laughs> maybe somebody was avoiding something, trying to get away with something. Maybe this person was a player. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One more. This person could also just be coming right towards you. Maybe they're a fire sign. Again, I'm getting Sagittarius energy. Nine of Pentacles. Well, we do have that single energy. So maybe this person was or is single, but maybe they were, they're just in and out type energy. Like maybe, you know, one more for that Seven of Swords. Yeah, I think somebody was just mm, maybe overindulging, having their cake, eating it too type energy. Okay, let's get, get some um oracles i think this person is also in independent but there is emotions here all right and i think they're they feel bad for maybe they feel bad for what it is that they they were doing you know with in their single life you know just not really caring like you know just do, getting you know, doing what they want getting away with it just in and out and i think they're like in an energy of you know i want to overcome that energy because like i have feelings you know but mm, we'll see how it plays out Okay, let's get oracles. Okay. For Aquarius. Aquarius stabbed in the back at the bottom of the deck. Mm -mm -mm. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. <sighs> Seduction right after that. All right. It says heart with a key and then keys on her ring. <laughs> okay. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Hopefully not. Heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. Remember what I was saying in that advice section? Like somebody was a player, but they have feelings. Like, yes, they have options, choices, decisions, and all of that, okay? Maybe they were having one night stands, stringing people, stringing girls along or whatever. Just very unconventional type relationship because they were single. That's the overall energy here anyways. But then it's like welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, you know? So something's changing. You have the Grim Reaper and photograph that came out in reverse. So with judgment coming out, some of you guys are definitely giving somebody another chance. It says uh, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. It's in reverse. So it's something is not done, okay? Something is not done. Looking at your photos and missing you, nostalgia, making new memories, make new memories with photograph in reverse. They're not going to, they're no longer just going to just be nostalgic. They want to take action. That's what I'm getting from this. They want to take action. They don't want this to be over. <laughs> Healthy choice is, is, is in reverse, guys. <laughs> with the Phoenix in reverse. Oh, Lord. Uh, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. It's in reverse. Maybe that's how somebody's feeling right now. Maybe somebody's not happy with the choices that they made. It doesn't have to be that, oh, you guys are making a bad decision by taking somebody back. It doesn't have to be that, okay? It could be for some of you. It doesn't just, you know, you, ha you guys have to trust your intuition when, um, you know, when listening to tarot readings and just, you know, take what resonates, like what every single tarot reader says. You also have the phoenix in reverse, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Maybe that's what it's saying. Maybe somebody's changing their mind. Maybe there's something about the situation where they do want growth. Okay. Also, some of you guys, it's not a new phase. 
um and maybe it's a new phase but it's not something brand new well the phoenix is is not out of the ashes rises the phoenix the the phoenix was i can't remember what it was from before sphinx or i don't know <laughs> it was something else before it became the the, the phoenix they had to go through the fire to get to what it was to what it is so i think something is being revived from the past for some of you guys okay Whoa, that one went flying. Ugh, okay, interesting. <laughs> it's almost similar to Sagittarius creation at the bottom of the deck. You guys got will, which they got, abundance, which they got. They also got the past. But you guys got the path with extremes. And with, I guess we're going to start here. With the path and extremes, I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy here. Okay? I feel like it's very, very, very intense. And I feel like it, it I feel like dealing with this person, maybe there's a lot of intense um, highs and an intense lows when dealing with this person. But ultimately, I feel like with the abundance card coming out right in the middle, I'm pretty sure Sagittarius got in the middle as well. It fl flung out, but I feel like maybe maybe somebody is financially stable. Maybe this is just saying that there's abundance with love. Maybe it's you know it, it's um how somebody feels. Okay, and then you have will. This is somebody putting in the effort, putting in the willpower to get something done, to do something. Have you know what I mean? Having the will to do something, and with the abundance card, I also get family. All right, because when you're abundant, it's not just about material things. It's about having, like, you know, family as well. It reminds me of the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, with creation also and seeing this, the extremes, some of you guys, there could be um, a pregnancy or something that could um, be involved, okay? You have the masculine right after that. Trust. Some of you guys need to trust the masculine, all right? The, the masculine is going to be going through a period of introspection, and you need to trust that this person is on the right path, okay? That they will figure this shit out. So that's what I have for you, um, Aquarius. And I'll leave that there. Okay, bye.